Hmm. And hello again friends, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm just going to make an amendment to the last video. Okay, so this is one of the ways I actually describe a way you can actually uh, do some do some waveform, com convert the waveform into a graph sort of a thing. But is there an easier way? Absolutely. Okay, another way you can do this is with the use of some of the file input output options. So right click, go to file input output. Go and uh, look for this thing called write to measurement file. Okay, click this, put it here. Okay, so uh, lab view will give us some options. Firstly, firstly we will have a file name. So the file name, uh, it's really up to you to decide what you want. I want to go and save it in my desktop. So I will save it as uh, let's let's call this the input file, LVM. Okay, so the action to do is to save it to one file. If the file already exists, I prefer to overwrite the file. So you can select what you want to do here. Okay, the file format here will be just a text LVM. So I'm not going to do anything uh, over here. I do not want any headers. Okay, like I mentioned the last time, headers will make the importing into Excel a lot more complicated. The time column, I'll just give it one column only and the and the delimiter will be comma because you want CSV style files. Okay, and to uh, put put your variables in is very simple. Just use your local variable, change it to read and I want to read this uh, fuel input. So remember always you need an indicator here so that you can the local variable is able to read it. Okay, so I just put fuel input I'll wire this into the signals part and I'll just press play. Okay. And the simulation will go as per normal. And I can copy this over. And you look, the the uh inputs are very nicely put for you at every time step. Okay, so the sem it will sample at non-uniform intervals. Okay. But the best thing is that you can just open it with oops. Uh, LibreOffice Calc. No, you uh, engage digitizer. Digitizer. Oh, that's another application. Okay, you open it with LibreOffice and look. Uh, all your stuff is here in nice, uh, very nice um, uh, places, I guess. Okay, it's in very very nice. Uh, uh, what do you call that? Formatting for import. Okay, one column for each. And let me close this. Don't save. Alright, so uh, if you want uh, if you want to uh, write it for two, I'm not I'm not gonna like separate uh, separate out both of these necessarily, but okay, never mind. Let's let me put it this way, eh? Let me put it this way. Uh Let's see whether you know, building array will do. It may or may not work. So I have a hunch it might not work, and you might need to. Uh, yeah. What What am I doing here anyway? Yes. Uh, basically, I want not only my input, the fuel input, to be sort of indexed. I want the output temperature, which I just call CSTR temperature. Uh, I'll change it to read. Yeah, this CSTR temperature is what I want to uh, output. So let's see whether uh, putting both of these together actually works. And we'll see the output file. Okay. So you know, let it run a few seconds and I'll stop. And let's take a look at the input file. So you can see uh, this time it does not uh, really work as well. Okay, so there'll be once you have uh, an array like that uh, once you have these two arrays uh, it doesn't really work as well for this so the best the best is to just uh, leave it as one um, if uh, leave it as one uh, file okay so I can just write it to a measurement file I mean leave it leave it as one kind of a data set do not use arrays or anything like that if you don't want to complicate things so again we're going to do the same thing, write to a measurement file. Okay, save to file overwrite. Let's go in the desktop. 
and let's put the uh, output signal file okay so uh, we use text put no headers uh, and one column per channel let's use a comma delimiter okay I think that should be about it. We'll put the CSTR time into the signals. Okay, and we'll just name rename this as a uh, input signal file. And this this I guess is way more efficient than let's say this. Okay, so let's play. Two, three, four, and I'll stop. I'll stop uh, let's see yeah and everything looks in order the input signal file is as follows you have time and then you have input signal for output signal file same as well you have time versus an output signal okay so so actually this is even more efficient than, than what we have before uh, where we have a file for input and a file for output okay we'll just use the LVM uh, method and then we'll just import uh, with CSV using uh, LibreOffice so very easy so uh, I'm going to delete all of this and because uh, that's that's not as efficient as having this this is the easiest way to do it okay so once once you have that you can save your your time domain data into a CSV format okay so I'll just delete all of this and delete all of this okay now just press play and you can look at the desktop here are your lvm files which you can just copy and paste and you can see everything written in real time this is like the best way i think if you have a time varying uh, data input output whatever uh, this is the easiest way to do your signal writing okay uh, that's if you're not particular about your sampling time and anything if you are then i think the last method may be somewhat better for you um, I mean of course based based on how often this uh, solver actually runs my step size was 0 0.1 so um, yeah the solver actually uh, runs for that long okay so this is the input and output signals but you, got, you, you see this these things are actually uh, red not at uh, not at those uh, intervals but rather you can see uh, these these are uh, done approximately at 50 milliseconds interval you can see uh, this is uh, this is around 10 seconds this is around 10.05 seconds so every 50 milliseconds uh, this this uh, this uh, write to file signal will just do its thing because our wait time here was 50 milliseconds so the sampling frequency is very high but you know that's that's what we have and for me that's that's good enough uh, a thing so uh, yeah so this is another way you can do this right uh, measurement and ev everything okay so again we'll only need a, a time varying double file over here a time varying double file and we'll just write it we have this vi it's under file io Okay, again, cancel. It's under file I/O. Okay, right measurement file. Okay, that that's uh that's what we are doing here. Okay, right measurement file. So uh that's that's uh, pretty easy. Once you do that. Okay. So, um, pardon the amendment I have to make in the last video. So, yeah, it's just just another easy way to write. Okay. So thanks for watching.